I've read your file, and I'm kind of a big fan. So I really don't want to hurt you. I am so glad you said that. And just when we were starting to really connect, did you miss me? We're going to have so much fun together. Step one is to team up with you. The only thing I know for sure is I need you. Why are you smiling at us? I'm not smiling at you. I knew you'd come back for me. Go! Tell Shaw I was touched. She came to look for me. I heard you skipped breakfast. I couldn't make you look bad if I tried. A lot of people are going to be killed. You, me, your helper monkey, and Shaw. You think I don't care about people, Harold? I'm doing all of this to save you. I love it when you play doctor. Sorry to bother you, Shaw. In my defense, I knew you and the big luck could handle yourselves. I love your similes. Hop on, Shaw. Thanks for being my travel buddy on these errands. And as much as I'd love some girl talk, trust me. She knows you can handle yourself. Stay the course, me. Be careful, Shaw. Bye, Shaw. Didn't know you cared, Shaw. Looks like someone crawled in under the fence. Admit it, you were worried about me. I'll do yours if you do mine. Sorry, Sam. For what it's worth, I really like the new look. You're definitely an autumn. I worry about you, Samin. Kiss, kiss to you, too. If the worst comes to pass, if you could give Shaw a message. He's hot. I mean, not putting zip ties in a CIA safe house with 10 hours to kill hot, but I thought I'd help keep an ear on you. And I just couldn't bear it if anyone hurt you. I mean, besides me. Hi, Shaw. How's your date? I live to amuse. And is that why you came to see me? Get on. I got her, Harry. Look on the bright side, Samin. Look, I get that you're frustrated, angry, and probably a little bit scared. Maybe you should be. Because you almost died back there. So while you may not be scared about what could happen to you the next time, other people are. People who care for you. Thank you, bud. And as soon as we help John, you promise to go underground. We do this, and then straight to the subway. I'm sorry, sweetie. You can end me all you want. Let me help you. Two hands are better than one. Until it's safe for you. Especially since we know it would be impossible to keep you locked up. Against your will, anyway. The machine isn't a robot, Sam. But I hear your analogy. That's my favorite prisoner. I'm aware. She's trying to go get and kill my friend. Honey? Hey, sweetie. You busy? Well, there's no need to be rude. Why are you so afraid to talk about your feelings? You're perfect for each other. Overly affectionate greeting. Transparent rationale for conversation. Overt, come on. Playfully witty sign off. Hey, sweetie. You busy? We're so good at this together. I swear, I can't even think I'm gonna like you. You probably remember she has an access to personality disorder, which means technically she's a sociopath, incapable of caring for others. But the thing about Shaw is. She does care. Enough to save my life. So today, I'm saving hers. Tell me where Sabine is. I know she's alive here. 66 hours, the rescue's overdue. Sabine's gonna kill us. Don't give up on her, Harold. Shaw's still here. Is she? Where is our friend? Is she alive? The 
machine must know where Shaw is and if she's alive, but she won't tell me. You gave up on her days ago. You really think she's dead? You need an answer. I need an answer if Samin is alive or if she's dead. Everything that happened. Is that her name now? But it turns out I can't lose you. Not you and Shaw. Shaw's not your fault. Even if she does turn up dead, it's not your fault. I asked her to help us that day. I did. Alive. I just talked to her on a call originating from the city. And all this time, she needed us, Harold. Like she needs us now. She was still alive, and I'm going after her. I'm gonna walk across this ledge with my eyes closed until A, you help me find Samin, or B, I fall practically to my death. She broke eventually. Lying bitch. Your little girlfriend told us all about it. She would never. 